Hi folks, welcome back to the shop here at Project Pine Hills. Today we're talking about this Hupar 360 degree self-leveling cross line laser level. You can see here the part number is S04CG. Now the fine folks at Hupar sent this to me to check out. Let's take a look at it. All right, this is how it arrived to me in this case. You see it has a nice handle here at the top. Let's take a quick look around the case. Uh, just to pull it out of the box and see exactly how it came. So flip these two latches up. Now the case does have plastic clips here on these latches. I wish it had metal pins here. That would be nice. In the back, it also has plastic for the hinges, but at least they're hinges and not flexible plastic. Of course, manual here, we take it out. What I really like is all the items are encapsulated in foam, already pre-cut. So everything's here. We'll talk about all these pieces here. I like the fact it's all together so you don't have to hunt down these components, keeps them clean, dry, and keeps them from getting banged around. So that's nice. But let's take a quick look here at the laser level. So here's the Hupar laser level. Now, if you flip the switch on, it puts it in auto leveling mode and also turns on the late one laser. Now, if I press this H for horizontal lines, it'll give me a lower line. And you can see that line on this rule over here is about a half inch. That's when it's nice when you're trying to work close to the floor, you can get that lower line. I hit the horizontal button again, I get both lines on. If I hit the vertical line, I get one vertical line. You can see it right here. If I hit it again, I get a second vertical line. And if I hit that V again, I get both vertical lines. So now all the lasers are on. Now it's a class two green laser. Green lasers are easier to see than any other color laser, especially in daylight. And now we have them all on. Now, why do they call this a four point laser level? That's because it has four lasers on it. There's one on the top, one here on the side under this housing. There's a third one here in the back and there's one here on the bottom. And that means that when you turn this on and you flip on all the lasers, that you get a total of 16 lines. And it also gives you six of these crosshairs, right? You've got one in the back, one in the front, one on the left and right. And there's one on the ceiling and one that's shining down. You can see that right here on the table over here, a crosshair. So six crosshairs, so that's handy. But we switch that off real quick. Now let's take a quick look at the display. I have this unit locked out over here, so it's not an auto leveling mode, but I can turn this unit on if I hit this on off switch and just hold it down. And you wanna do that if you wanna use the lasers. Perhaps you want this laser at an angle because of something you're working on and you don't want it level. This is how you can do it. Keeping the pendulum locked and turning on the laser, but you'll notice it flashes about every five seconds. That's to make you aware that it's not auto leveling and it's in manual mode. So if you look at the display here real quick, you'll see it's got a battery icon here telling us the battery's fully charged. You'll see it's got a lock here because it's in manual mode and we got the pendulums locked. Now you see if I press this button here, just tap it once, this P comes on, that's pulse mode. That's if you're using a receiver or a scanner for the laser, it allows you to read the laser at longer distances where you can't see it in bright light with the naked eye. If I press it again, that P goes off, so now it's not in pulse mode anymore. And when it goes in pulse mode, you'll see it flashes the laser a couple times so you know it's in pulse mode. And while I have it in this mode here, you'll notice that this laser flashes about every five seconds to let you know that it's a manual mode. Now, if I hold this button down, it'll turn off the laser. Another thing I noticed with this, it has a nice rubberized overmold. You can see here the on-off switch, it's labeled on and off. It does have a label there. Just go around, you can see there the lasers are well protected under these alloy caps. So let's take a look at all the components in the case here. You'll see over here, it comes with a 7.2 volt lithium ion battery. Now the unit doesn't come with a battery in it. So if you open this laser level up, right, you see it has a model number right here on the bottom, that S04CG. All right, it takes a 7.2 volt battery. You'll notice it also has a quarter 20 port here on the bottom, so you can put this on a tripod. Now if I press this button here, it's gonna open up the battery compartment. I take this battery in, insert the battery, close the lid, and now it's ready to go. Now, what's really great about this battery is you have some other options here. We can take it out, and you'll notice on this battery, there's a USB-C port. So you can charge this battery directly, or you can put the battery in the unit, and you'll notice here, there's a USB port. You can actually power this unit with a USB-C cable without a battery, or you can charge the battery up in the unit with the USB-C cable. So you have three options there, run it on a battery, run it on a power cord, or run it with the battery inside and charge the battery with a power cord on it. So if you look here, I've got the unit here. I'm gonna open it up. You'll see there's no battery in the battery compartment in the bottom. We can take this unit here. It's got a USB-C port. I'm gonna grab the USB-C cable that came with it. If you look, you'll see right on display, it shows no battery, but you have a little icon there. And if I set it down and I flip it on, it turns on. So you can run it directly on a power cord with no battery. It's great if you're running this for really long periods of time and need a lot longer runtime with this. Uh, the battery comes with it. By the way, you can, we can show all that charges here real quick. If I pull it out, 
You can see you can plug it directly into this USB-C port and you can charge it. Right there, we got a red light and it takes about four and a half hours to charge this battery up when it's completely discharged. So if I take it here and we open up this port again, pop our battery in there and plug this in. Now on the display, it shows it's charging. So you can charge that battery directly, but you can also charge the battery in the unit and you can run it while the battery's charging. Now, another thing I like about this unit is you'll notice it has this piece here and four AA batteries. So you can put these four AA batteries in here and you'll notice this thing is about the same form factor as the battery. It's got contacts here on the end of it, similar to our battery here. So once you have the batteries in this unit, you can open this up and you can put this in here and now you can run it on four AA batteries. So that's a really nice option. You don't have to wait on this unit. If you want to use one time use AA batteries, you can have some available. You can get this thing running right away. There's no waiting for this battery to charge. You can still run. So I like having the option that you have a rechargeable battery and you also have one time use battery. So, it's, so if you can't get this battery for this unit at some point in the future, you still have an option to run it on this pack or powering it on the USB-C cable here. That's a lot of power options there, which is really great. So what else do we have here? This is really what makes it nice is some of these parts we're gonna look at here. We have this unit here. It's a couple pieces of metal. It's really kind of like a scissor lift, right? If I spin this, you'll see how it cranks up. So you can make minor adjustments for this. So you just put this laser level on top and you wanna make those minor adjustments if you're not using a tripod. You can put this on here and make those micro adjustments to get the height that you need while the laser is on, right? It's really nice that they included this. I had not seen this before, but you see it kind of works like a scissor lift there. As you can see, it also comes with a target here for your laser level. You can put those crosshairs, you know, right on there so it helps you aim that in. Also comes with this metal plate, so you can screw this to a wall and I'll show you how that works here real quick. And what's really nice about this, kind of the star of this whole kit, it has this adjustment tool here, which is really nice. And you can see it's got that quarter 20 mount on it, right? So you can take the laser level here and I guess we'll just show that real quick. So if you look at this, you have four of these high visibility green knobs. So now I have all these adjustments. So I can turn this knob here to raise it up, get that laser level right where I want it. I can use this knob here to turn. It's a quarter turn lock. So I turn it, locks it the height and that adjustment turn it back, it'll unlock it. Take this guy, I can move the laser level this direction, this axis. I can come over here and turn this knob and I can move it left or right. And so it has one other knob here in the back that I can turn, it slowly rotates it. So if you need to turn this, you can do that. So it has a total of four different adjustments here, or four different high visibility green knobs. So I really like that. Turn it off real quick. I'm just gonna take it, unmount it here real quick. So here's a closer look at this stand. You can see it's really nice here. It's got inches marked here and millimeters and several different ways to mount this. So you could mount it on a screw or a nail here, uh, flip over to the back. So you look here in the back, you can see it has three magnets and has these nice rubber mounting pads to help protect the surface you're on. And you look at the bottom here, you got two mounts. You got a quarter 20 standard tripod mount and you have a 5H tripod mount. So you have two options there for mounting this guy. That's really nice. So really impressed that they included this. Like I said, it comes with it. You don't have to buy it extra. And uh, I think that's really nice they included that. So what else do we have in here? Comes with the AC adapter to charge for USB-C. Comes with the cord, of course, USB-A, and your USB-C plugs on the other end here to charge the battery or run the unit, right? So it has a charging cord that comes with it. And the last thing we have here is a remote. So you can see it comes in this little bag. I'll pop it out of that real quick. So there's a remote control that it has. It has a nice ring here at the bottom. You can clip that on you. You can see right here, if you open this up, it's got a port here for USB-C. So you can also charge this remote control with the same USB-C cable. You just plug it in and you'll see the red slight on the remote starts flashing. So that's a remote control for this unit. How does that work? Well, if we take the unit here, the remote control won't work with this unless the unit's on. Now, right now, this is switched completely off. There is sort of a standby mode, but right now it's complete, switched completely off. The pendulums have been locked, but I'll flip it forward, unlocks the pendulum, turns the laser on, and you'll see here the remote is also off. So you have to hold down the on button here and that switch will turn green. And you'll see now the remote's on and that it's gonna connect with the laser level here. And if I press this one off button, you can see now it turns the green laser off. I can press it and turn it back on. Now here's a look at the remote. You can see it has an H on here, just like it does the button on the unit. That's for the horizontal line. We have a V for the vertical line. It has this P button here for the pulse mode. Two function keys at the bottom that are both for future purposes or not enabled yet. And this button on the top also runs that pulse function, turns it and toggles it on and off. But you can see here I can push the horizontal line key and I can turn on all the horizontal lasers or turn them off. 
right? If I can push the on off button, turns the unit off. Now, when you do this, you'll notice that about every 30 seconds, it's going to flash and let us know that it's still on. Let's say you have this mounted somewhere where you can't reach it. That's where you probably want this remote control. If you have it up high somewhere where you can't get to it easily, you can be on the ground and turn it on and off. And that's really what makes this remote handy. You have to be, keep in mind it's still on and running even though there's no lasers. There, it just beep three times and the laser flash three times. That's to tell the user that, hey, it's still on. It's not off even though you've turned it off here. I can hit this switch here, it turns the laser back on. Now, one thing I don't like is it doesn't have memory. You can see it always turns on that one laser when we turn it on. And I would have to hit the horizontal button again to get that lower horizontal line and again to get both. So uh, I do kind of wish it had memory when you use this remote. That would be nice. Now, one other thing about this remote is if you turn this unit off, notice the remote starts flashing the green light. And that's because it loses communication because this is now completely off. So the remote is not communicating. Now, if I flip the switch back on, turn on the lasers again, you'll see that this green light stops flashing because it reestablishes communication with the laser level. Now this remote control is not the only option to run this laser level. They also have a Bluetooth app, which you can see here, and it connects us with the laser very easily. There's no special mode. You have to put the laser level in. The great thing about this is you can turn on a laser directly. So I can turn on any laser line I want directly right away without toggling through all the other settings. So if I want one vertical line, I can turn that on, right? If I want them all on, I can tap all four. You can see it gives me that X, Y axis there in the center. So if I move this unit, You'll see the dot there in the center starts moving around on the smartphone. Also got the pulse button here if you want to turn on that pulse mode. So you can basically do everything you can do from the remote control with the Bluetooth app. Now these laser levels have come a long way in 10 years. I've got one here that kind of represents what came out about a decade ago. And it's just got a single point on the laser, only gives you a laser on one side and it sort of fades out, right? So these products have been evolving. I really haven't bought any because they've been evolving so much, but I think we've gotten to a point where they've really matured. The prices are coming down. Right now there's a great sale on this uh, Hupar. Definitely will check it out. I'll have links in the description, uh, but let me know what you uh, think in the comments of this Hupar laser level. You know, I think it's a great product, a great price, a good value. I think it's a great way to go. It's going to save you a lot of money if you're looking to try out these laser levels and get into that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to you here on the Project Pine Hills channel. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.